With me, I have two track focus cars, a Nissan Z Nismo and an M3 Competition. Let's take a look at both and see how they stack up against each other. So let's start out with the obvious. If you wanted a four door track car, well, you have to go this way. The M3 Competition, you can see it has four doors. You can still haul the family around, but with the, the Z Nismo, you're out of luck. Two doors, two passengers. So that's a big difference. Now, as for engines, they're both six cylinder, but they are different. The M3 Competition does have a twin turboed i6 producing a massive 500 horsepower, but on the Z side, it's a twin turbo V6 producing 420 horsepower. So yes, they both have six cylinders, but different outputs. Now out back, the Z does have dual exhaust tips. They have a unique look, and I do think it fits the car very well, but out back for the M3, you have quad exhaust tips, massive statement. But more importantly, how do they sound? Let's start them up. Now, what about trunk space? I know you guys probably don't care, but let's take a look. The Z is a hatchback, so there's a good amount of space here. It looks like maybe one set of golf clubs uh, can fit back here. Groceries, okay. Bigger items, probably not, but stepping over to the M3, it's a traditional trunk. It's actually pretty deep. I'm pretty sure golf bag can fit in here, but because it's a trunk and not a hatchback, you're limited by the height. However, you can fold down the seats and gain more trunk space if you wanted to. Now inside the Z Nismo, it is very track focused. First, look at those Recaro seats. Very cool looking, very sporty. And then look at the dash, the steering wheel, the red stitching. Looks nice, but simple. Nice and simple. Well, let's head over to the M3. You also have track seats, but definitely looks more substantial. Dual colors, leather, you got the M3 badge, and then look at the dash, the steering wheel, a lot more carbon fiber. It's a lot busier inside the M3 with the huge screens in front of you and all the buttons and everything that you're seeing inside. Even though you can make the argument that you get more inside the M3, it does feel a little cluttered to me. This, the Z Nismo feels simple. Like if you just want to get in and drive, that seems like the car to go with. What do you guys think? Now on the inside, it feels like it's not as nice as the M3. However, there are still a lot of cool features. For example, you do have three gauges that measure your boost, your turbo speed, and your battery voltage. That's pretty nice, especially when you are taking this on the track. You do have a large infotainment system as well, and a large digital gauge cluster. So even though it's not one big screen, you still get the essentials. And of course, here's the menu item for your navigation, your camera, your map, menu, audio, everything that you need. Although this system is a little bit laggy and isn't nearly as good as the one that you would find in the BMW M3. When you get inside the M3, you feel like you're in a luxury car, even though there are things that make you feel special. For example, the special M1, M2 uh, driving modes. You have the special seats, of course, right? And the carbon fiber everywhere. And I really love this huge screen that's right in front of you. It's two screens spliced together, but it looks like it's one big screen. And I have used this system before. It's very responsive. It's very nice. Everything 
can be selected, all your gauges, everything you want to know about your tires, your engine, traffic conditions, your maps, audio, it's all within your fingertips. Of course, though, when you're driving, what you really need to focus on is your, is your steering wheel and you have two big paddle shifters which are also carbon fiber and you see that throughout the car. And finally, I just want to say I do love the blue combination. Blue and black, the contrast with carbon fiber, with aluminum, I really dig it. Now, let's look at the wheel setup. With the Z Nismo, you're getting summer tires, 285, 35, 19, and you get the special cool shadow black wheel that you see here. The calipers are painted, in this case red. It's nice, it's a good setup. Now, moving to the M3 side, you do see 20 inch wheel back here, summer tire, Michelin Pilot Sport. This is also 285 in size, 285, 30, 20. However, with the M3, you do see the special gold caliper and cross-drilled rotors. Now, you may think this is an unfair competition, but let's talk about price last. So the M3 competition, well, the M3 starts around $72,000, but the competition starts around $80,000. Now, this Z Nismo starts around sixty-five dollars and tops out around anywhere from sixty-eight dollars to $70,000, depending on what you configure it with. So there is a $10,000 gap between the two. So if it was up to you, which one would you choose? Leave in the comments below.